Did you know that you can create a beautiful and customized journal using free Microsoft OneNote on your PC, tablet, or mobile? Okay, right now you're in my laptop, Microsoft OneNote. So first thing before you start to create your own journal, yeah, the best is that you can see right over here, let me close the rest. I have one of my journal right over here. You can see that. So every year there will be a section like 2023 and 2024. Okay. So right now in 2024. So this is the my journal, right? By month. Okay. I compile it by month. So first thing you need to create this notebook. So all you need is just go to file and then create new. And then you just select where do you want to save it, okay? Usually, you will go to the default, your your OneDrive, and then you just create it, okay? Now, I'm not going to create that new notebook because I already have it. So once you're in the notebook, it is totally up to you. You want to create a general section. Let's say you want to create section by quarter or by year, by month. You can do that, but for me, I will just create by year. Okay, here you just go double click that, change it to 025. Okay, so 2025, and then if you want to create your first one, let's say this will be January. Okay, 025. All right, so that will be your section. Okay, January 2025. And then you can just add page. Yeah. So this will be, let's say, uh, January 01. Now, if you will want to make it a subsection, just drag here, it becomes a subsection. All right. You can see that, right? So you can just add another page, January 02. Yeah. Now, the only thing is that one note, you got to, every time you got to pull this to the subsection. Now, once you're done in January, you want to create February, then you create a February. 2025. And so on. Yeah. Great. Then your February will be your February 01 date. And remember, so this will be the subsection. You go in here and then you can just collapse them. All right, so this is how you organize, or this is how I organize my journal. You can organize it. You want to create a section by quarter, by month, by all means, you can do that. So I normally do it by the section, yeah? So that later on, I can actually uh, export the whole section yeah, into a PDF file. So meaning that my, after 2023, yeah, I will export that whole section to become one PDF file. Then if I want to refer back, it is easy for me to refer back, right? In just one file, it's just like my uh, journal as a book, something like that. I, I just record it. Yeah, now, you can see some of it, my journal, I changed over time. Here, this is my journal last year. And now, because I'm using tablet to write, so basically, you can see whatever I write on my tablet, it will show up here. I just let me quickly go ahead, turn on my tablet, and I will show you. Like, for example, I'm going to have, like, uh, to-dos, Okay, what are the key to do? So I want to do number one, yeah, uh, to do one. Number two, pass two. Number three, so I'm, I'm, I'm writing it over here on my tablet. Now, you, you don't see it right over here because I don't sync it, yeah. So all you need is just go and you can see your view sync status and I can sync it out. Now it will auto sync for once in a while, like after a few minutes. Yeah. 
or sync automatically whenever there are changes. But it usually it takes you a few minutes. So you can see that the things that I just write on my table, it will show up over here. Yeah, if you can't wait for it, just do like what I do. Just click and sync now, you will get it. So it will automatically sync to your tablet uh, from your mobile, okay, as well as your laptop. And this is totally free. All right. So this is one of the tools that I, I like the most. Okay. Now, once you set up your section, then usually, I mean, traditionally, I can create a page, a blind page like this, right? I can type in anything that I want. You see? So, but after a while, I will modify it. And uh, you can see, like, today, this is the template that I use, right? I put in the... The first thing is that the thoughts. So normally I will start with on the right side. Okay, what am I so grateful or thankful about? This is my gratitude journal. All right, so I write down what are things I'm grateful for. And then after that, what is my intention for the day? Okay, the intention of the day, what are the major goal that I want to achieve today? And then what are the things that my execution, what the key tasks that I want to complete today. So it's something like you don't know what the key tasks is. Uh, what are the three key things that you want to complete today in order for you to get move towards your so-called goal? Yeah. So that's the execution. Then I'll move on to write down thoughts. Sometimes I'll write down learning first or thoughts. So because... Uh, Usually, before I do my journal, I'll do some readings. So learning, you can get it from the quotes or learning from the books that you read, uh, from movies or TV shows that you watch, anything, right? You're learning from anyone, you can just put in what, what did you learn yesterday, today? And finally, thoughts. This is where you can record ideas, feelings, simply, simply any thoughts that you have. Yeah, put it down. Now it can be just like one sentence. So sometimes I write very long. Sometimes it just can be one sentence. Now, in your tablet, you can actually do a limited zoom or infinity zoom, right? You can, like here, I can uh, zoom. This is 150%. I can do like 200%. Or I can do like this, like this. Yeah. Uh, because I'm using touch screen, so it's easy for me to to actually uh, move around. Okay. Now, basically, you can do infinity zoom, and you get a lot of things. Empty page you can write on if you want. But the things on this the journal that I'm using, because I reset this the format, right? You can see this template is exactly A4 size. So that when I print it out or export it to PDF, uh, this will be one page. This is exactly one page. So normally I don't write more than one page per day. If you really want, then you you can create like two pages and so on. But usually I don't do that. Yeah. So this is this is one way you can create the journal. Now, besides writing, you can actually insert a lot of stuff. Yeah, like pictures, you want pictures, you can uh, insert any pictures from your from your cameras, okay, from uh, anywhere, internet, and, and so on. So you want to make your journal looks nice. And if you have like uh, a tablet that you can draw, you can write, you can draw, you can uh, highlight using colors and so on. And in fact, there's also a lot of templates uh, that is already come available. Now, what I'm using is my own uh, customized template. Now, if you're interested in, in knowing how I do this customized template, just, just comment the template in the com I mean, in the comment below, right? Then, where I'll do another videos, show you how do I create this customized uh, 
nicely beautiful template. Okay, now, other than that, right, you can actually insert, if you have something that you want to be searchable, you can actually insert uh, tags. So go to home page and then here you can insert tags, right? So let's say, for example, I want to insert text ideas here, right? So I, I can insert the text right over here. And then the idea today. So this is something like idea today. Now, if I put it here, so I can refer to the things above. Yeah. And then later, if I want to search, you can see here, ideas. You see that idea today, right? So if I can click on here, it will go to this page. As I go here, here, if I click on this, it will bring me back to this particular page. So if I want to specifically, I want to be searchable for certain ideas, I can do that. Now, there's a lot of tags right over here. If it's not enough, you can create your own customized tags that you want. Let's say you want a quotes, you can put a tag or quotes, and then you want to search back the quotes, you can go click here, the search, and then you can search all the quotes or you want uh, books to read, movie to watch, whatever, right? Create your own text and then the text are searchable. So it's a very powerful tools that you can use for your journal as well as your notes. Now, let me know if you have any question in regards of how to use digital journaling using uh, Microsoft OneNote. If you have a question, just leave it in the comment right below. I'll try my best to create a new video for you on that. And uh, by the way, if you like this type of videos, okay, in regards of work productivity, do subscribe to our channel. And I'm Andrew, and I'll see you real soon in my next video.